YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail, coming through with another sneaker opinion. This is the Saucony. I haven't, I haven't copped the Saucony in a while. Can be called Saucony too, man. In the early 2000s, like 99 to 2000, that Saucony Jazz, like that's what I was calling it, the, the Saucony. It's until recently, these past few years, people be calling it Saucony, but I don't know the correct, correct name, but yeah. This is the box right here. And that nice fall, like burgundy, ox blood, red. Then you also got the gold ring right here. It actually kind of made these kind of royal though, man. Like you would think that this was a collab, but I think I end up getting these for 35 to 40 bucks ship. Definitely worth it. Definitely a steal deal. And Let's get straight to the kicks. This is it right here, man. That nice sherbet orange. Definitely something nice, even for the fall right now. Now, when I cop these, I didn't have the fall in mind, but I, you know, I just like the color. And I don't too much cop kicks just because of seasons. You get some people that do it. Oh, well, I'm rocking orange just because it's fall. Like whatever. You know what I mean? You could. To me, I want to be able to rock the sneakers year round. You know what I mean? If it just happened to be orange, it happened to be orange. The color blocking look dope, like it's crazy in this just this colorway on this model year round. Um, you know, certain holidays and colors or whatever, yeah, that fall in line or whatever, whatever. But these joints right here, the color on them is the tan orange grid 9000 HT. Again, I don't think this was a collab, but this one did have a theme behind it. Uh, I'm trying to think if it actually had a, 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 maybe it was, maybe I think it was calling these gelato or something. Now they, they, there were other, there were like another two other color. There were two more colors to this because three drop total. The other color was like a mint green. The other one was like a vibrant pink. Now, ain't nothing wrong with pink or whatever, but I didn't feel like messing with that, man. This right here, this was the color that stuck out to me. And then I say that gelato mint green with the, you know, it just feel like mint chocolate or whatever, ice cream. That would probably be second and then third is the pink one. But this one killed the game for me, man. I love it, man. Just looking at the sneaker, you could damn near taste the color. You could damn near like taste the, you know, just looking at it. Um, I think about sweet tarts too as well when I uh, look at this as well. Now, they didn't come with this lace. But the lace that did come with it is this cinnamon brown one right here. So, with this joint right here, I think the lace actually bring it out. I actually got these from my, my ice cream sockinies that I got like a few years ago. Um, those are going to make a guest appearance in this video for comparison's sake. Just a little bit. But looking at this, and I still haven't even really wore these yet, man. That, that nice gel bottom translucent peach man crazy you're not gonna see nobody rocking this um i like kicks like this this is like those kicks that like no you didn't spend 200 dollars, but you still just get as much looks as if that you would expect from a 200 plus dollar shoe crazy fly flames definitely something nice and colorful not many people expecting it number one it's a sockany number two the color kills it for me on this color blocking the color blocking actually made this sneaker to me. Also, too, going around the side, it looks like these are scales along the side with the way it's, like, patterned up around here. But this is actually a nice, soft new buck. Kind of give me, like, that cinnamon waffle cone kind of, like, feeling, kind of like a sugar cone or whatever. And also, too, you know, this is also neoprene with a splash of, like, that brown, bright sugar. It's like brown sugar with you know your niece glitter or something up in it i don't know man but anyway going to the inside you do have like that that peach orange sole as well and so also around the sock liner you still got that brown sugar as far as the material go on this what i think um this doesn't feel like a suede or even a leather it feels like a rubber pause <laughs> seriously it does like a bike tire leather you just got that new bike straight off the, out the shop man or heels or or you know uh walmart or whatever it feels like a bike tire literally as far as cleaning this though it shouldn't be too hard to clean 
the materials don't look like they ever actually put up a fight it just seemed like you might just need like a damp rag just to really wipe whatever you gotta wipe off this you still got the same kind of like me so i don't know if you guys already was part, you know have any sockenies from that you know when sockeny had that nice run and everybody was sockeny and stuff as long as they was i don't want to start any stuff but yeah so um i want to compare this also to the g9 shadow 5 last year they came out here go the laces right here last year they end up coming out with these uh not last year but a few years ago they end up dropping these joints and this is the strawberry joints i've got heli compliments on the sneaker man people that was not even in the sneakers obviously um oh you know you said these look like candy shoes or whatever <laughs> the shoes you rocking look like candy um i don't really rock it for validation purposes i rock it for me obviously i highly suggest you rock your shoes for you and yes compliments is nice stuff man but you know it's just like extra points on top of what I, you know what I mean? Like if somebody else that's not even in the kicks, definitely compliment. So with these joints right here, as far as comparison go, you do get the ice cream like vibe from these. And at the bottom of these, you got the, that nice gum sole symbolizing that sugar cone. I already did a review on this like three years ago, but yeah, man, I did do a lace swap on mine and uh, got that yellow in there. To me, it really, really brings the sneaker out. And uh, with this, you know, I took the pink laces out of this and put them in here and uh yeah man i mean actually you know what the pink laces wasn't even in here i think that was actually already in the bag but yeah yeah man but the 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 this is definitely premium filling nice theme concept i like that that's that sacconi did that sacconi did that and they actually came out with this joint man um i actually seen these dirty somebody was selling a dirty pair on ebay man they look terrible whatever you do man i'm not team dirty some people beat their sneakers up and swear to god they look you know <laughs> they be swearing that they look good but not all sneakers look good dirty and beat up but uh this is the box right here and just another ice cream like kind of like collab this is something that you expect billionaire boy club to probably collab with Sakani and do but yeah so with the whole ice cream and bbc but yeah you got the paper right here that the waffle cone and all that stuff though man um just a quick overview for that but let me just finish off everything with this sherbert joint right here what i'm doing for time overall sneaker wise it just feel like i'm ready for like that gelato dessert you know what i mean that golden girl special and uh again with that translucent bottom which is one of my favorites of the sneaker you got that peach bottom <sighs> crazy crazy not nothing too much else to say about the sneaker man you got the extra you know light pink like whipped cream on the top man it's just crazy so yeah these shoes sweet as dude so yeah um to all my black and gray guys this is probably a horrific shoe you know what i mean like you know you get some guys that don't want to dare to dare try on another color but you know because besides the black and red and gray and maybe blue or whatever but man this is definitely this is why i like being in the sneakers man because it's just like you get sh shit like this it's just like crazy like you're not gonna see this and then when somebody asks you like oh where did you get that from or whatever whatever how'd you and like yeah dude i got it for like 30 40 bucks shit like you know what i mean versus a 200 dollar plus kick that everybody has so and you need to wait all that time for somebody to even appreciate it later that you rocking it later. You know what I mean? Providing if you even kept it in good condition. My time's up. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfellow, Goodfellow Neil. Peace.